Today, after our design planning and sketch phases, um, we have our beautiful sketch that you see in front of us here, kind of going over the various designs that we're going to be working on um, for the next two days, year two and a half. So as it sits right now, um, the general plan is that we're going to be working with a single link arm or a single arm actuating just to make things simpler um, overall by comparison to doing like a parallel link or an elevator or something of that nature. We're also going to be doing a passive intake just for simplicity's sake and looking at the game pieces this year, we're figuring that you aren't going to be having to need a intake that grabs the wheels like in years past. So if you look at say Deep Space for example, grabbing the balls or power up from 2018 grabbing the cubes which are kind of awkwardly shaped. The cubes this year are much more round so they're going to kind of flow into the robot a lot easier by comparison. In order to retain and carry these cubes and cones up to the scoring positions, we are going to be using a pneumatic clamp. It's the best way to do it with the varying widths of the game pieces, with the cone only being about five inches wide, the cube being about nine. It's just going to be easier with the additional width capabilities that we're going to have with the pneumatic clamp. Um, we're also doing a six by six Omni tank drive, so we're going to have Omni wheels up front and then the high traction kit of parts wheels in the rear. To make up for the limitations of the height and the size of the robot this year, we are going to be using an extendable arm. So teams might also be doing an extendable arm that's mounted on the front. In our case, with our single link arm, we actually have to mount ours towards the rear of the bot to make our arm long enough. Even with that, we aren't gonna have a long enough arm to reach out to that high goal all the way in the back for the cone. So we are gonna be mounting a extension on here that is driven and extended outwards by um, Redline motors. You could also use 550 Neos or any of the other kit of parts motors that are a little bit smaller. That's gonna allow us to both keep our arms in for when we're wanting to score on the close goal. So that's the goal that is a little over a, um, a foot in from the bumper on the grid. And then we're also gonna be able to go to the three foot goal that's all the way in the back of the grid to score the cone. We're also gonna be using a counterweight um, just to help us with the offset arm. So with the way this is designed, um, under su um, suggestions of our programmers, we are gonna be adding a counterweight to the rear of the robot here, um, mainly just to make it easier when it comes time to program. Um, I suggest you do the same if you have the weight to spare for it. Beyond that, um, we are probably just going to get ready to start uh, manufacturing here in the next few hours and we'll guys give you guys another update in the morning hopefully.